think it's a bad idea, Harvey. We'll double the share price by the end of the first quarter. That's not what I meant. I'm just, I'm not sure going public is the best move right now. That's why I'm here. Trust me, these aren't valid reservations. You're just getting cold feet. Harvey. I'll have Donna send you some fuzzy slippers. It'd be just fine. Are fuzzy slippers gonna stop the Title 16 ruling that came down Friday? You don't even know what that is, do you? No, I don't. But what I do know is it's not gonna change the value of your site. You've tripled your reach in the past 10 months. Everyone is talking about you. Now is the time. Come on, we agreed on this. What's this really about? It's about the changes around here. Nothing's changed. I'm here. Harvey, I may be a tech head, but I'm not oblivious. This firm just went through a battle, and I know it. Are you telling me that you don't trust me to put your needs above the firm's? No, I've always trusted you, Harvey. I'm just saying I don't... I think you might be too distracted to give me the best advice. Trent. I have to consider my options. About the IPO or Pearson Harbin? Both. It's 30 minutes past when you are required to be here, which means it's an hour past when you should be here. Okay, since when do we use a time clock? What are the new FTC Title 16 requirements? Oh, they're nothing. It's a nuisance. Trent Devin's worried about them. OK, well, all it is is another form to fill out. So if that's what you're worried about, it's fine. What I'm worried about is the fact that I could have told him that had you been at the meeting this morning at 8. What? I checked the schedule. There was nothing on it for this morning. It happened spontaneously, as things do. And I was there. You were not there. Did you not hear me when I told you to get your <laughs> together? No, I did hear you, and I did get my together, by the way. That's why I'm late this morning. Deciding to be late to get your shit together is not getting your shit together. Get it through your head. We just went through a civil war, and the world knows it. We're weak. And the law of the jungle says the weak get eaten. OK, Harvey, I'm sorry, but you need to ease up here. Ease up? You telling me to ease up when our clients are leaving? That's right. Trent Devin might leave. People don't leave me. I, I just. Enough! Your job is to help me. Not to screw me. If I tell you you did that, I don't want to hear that you didn't. I should have fired you last week. You know what? I should fire you right now. But I cut you slack because your grandmother died. Well, you've used up the rope. You keep it up, I will fire you tomorrow. Wow, you look like hell. Jimmy. You here to pick a fight with me because I'm really not in the mood. No, no, Mike, it's, it's not like that, man. Oh well, yeah, you're not still pissed at me? You gave me an out. Like, I might not have respected it at the time, but I do now. As far as I'm concerned, I owe you one. OK. Yeah, let me buy you a drink. Two conditions. One, you still owe me one. Two, you still owe me one. <laughs> as long as I still don't owe you one. <laughs> Bartender. It's good to see you, man. You too, buddy. So what's going on? You had a bad day? Yeah. OK, so give it to me. Well, evidently, getting in at 8.30 can only mean one thing. Yeah, that you had your head up your ass from 7 to 8.15. How'd you know? Well, you're forgetting I used to work for Lewis, too. Unlike you, I didn't have Harvey there to protect me. Nah, this was Harvey. Whoa. Ain't that some sh Anyway, used to the wonderful world of being an associate, right? Yeah, Pearson Hardman. What does that mean? I'm at Brad and Gould, my man. And I'm happy. No, associates don't get to be happy, Jimmy. No, you do at Brad and Gould. I got an office. Shoot me now. <laughs> That's great. Listen, Mike, when I said that I owe you one, I mean it. OK, you didn't hear from me, but we're expanding. So if you want to jump, just let me know. I'll put in a word for you. I can't leave Harvey. Screw Harvey. I mean, what's he done for you? More than you know. OK, maybe. But a year on the Harvey Specter, they would kill to have you. You wouldn't be the only one. There are people from Pearson Hardman going to Bratton Gould? Who? I can't tell you that. Jimmy, you have to tell me that. Mike, come on. If they knew it came they from won't. me. They won't. I saw Clark and Owens meeting with our partners. If you're here to give me your letter of resignation, I'll accept it in the morning. Oh, that's ironic. I was offered a job tonight. Congratulations. I passed. You want credit for that? No, I want to do the job I already have. Apology accepted. 
Bratton Gould is poaching our associates, Clark Owens, but he's also coming after our clients, Trent Devon. Someone's whispering in his ear. Allison Holt. She was brought in about a month ago. She was ready to throw you under the bus. And Jessica threw her out. So you think she's in this for revenge? Maybe, but we both know who brought her in. Hardman. You think this is him? Hell of a view. Clark and Owens don't deserve this. Which one is Owens, by the way? The redhead? I don't even know who your associates are, but you got to complain about losing them? You bitter because you were fired? I'm not bitter, Harvey. Unlike you, I don't take things personally. And by the way, I was right. I advised you to settle, and you settled. Your advice was for us to settle, and I lose my law license. And my question is, was taking that deal your idea or Daniel Hardman's? You think Daniel's behind this? You met with him six days ago. I'm not even going to ask how you know that. I told you before, Jessica, I'm a straight shooter. Daniel wasn't dictating my actions then, and he's not now. Either way, we are filing a claim for tortious interference. You're using privileged information to target our clients. You really want to cry foul to the ref? You know who went to the ref more than anyone? Michael Jordan. He did it quietly, and he got six rings. And he's my client. Maybe I should call him, too. You're not getting Trent Devon. You can't keep people who want to leave, Harvey. Everybody knows about your civil war. Pearson Hardman is falling apart. And I'm telling you, the avalanche has already started. Thomas? Pocono's weekend. With the girlfriend. Which one? Doesn't matter. Done. Winters? Lunch with the mayor. Campos? Lunch with me. Lunch with me? Benson? Box of the garden. Have Lundquist, meet him pregame. Does the king do that? He does for me. Seabirds. Tickets. Super Bowl. Broadway. Really? Beneath that lumberjack chest beats the heart of a songbird. Fine, anything but cats. Cats closed over a decade ago. What took them so long? That's it then. We're done. Closed them all. That's just foreplay. We didn't close shit. I want to have talked to every one of my clients by the end of the day. You stay on Trent Devon until he takes the call. I will. And Harvey? No one is leaving you. Alice, it's not done. We know. We're working all the clients. No, it's more than that. She's taking McKinney and Klein. It's just two more associates. No, it's more than that. I tell you the rats are jumping ship and you say it's fine, but Donna nods and you're busting out life jackets? You have a history of panicking. He's not panicking. Clark, Owens, McKinney, Klein, these aren't just fifth years. They're the best fifth years. They're Lewis's first class of associates. He gave her a report card? Harvey? You do not know that. Well, I'm gonna goddamn find out. <laughs> Cut it out. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. I never liked you, Lewis. You're a vindictive, sniveling rat, but I never thought you'd betray your own firm. I've never betrayed this firm. What do you call helping Allison Holt poach our associates? I had nothing to do with that. I love this firm, Harvey. You were a traitor when you voted for Hartman, and you're a traitor now. Like I've told you before, I'm not the only one in this firm who voted for Hardman, and I voted to oust him once I knew. Once you knew, you had to save your own ass. All right, you know what, Harvey? Just get out. Get out. I did nothing wrong. Jesus! You bugged my office. You ran to Hardman about the CM lawsuit. You sold your soul for senior partnership. And once you got it, you created a drug policy with the sole purpose of firing me. I did it for Hardman. Maybe Hardman wanted me dead. But you're the one who went out, got the gun, aimed it, and fired it at my head. And it blew up in my face. And what would have happened if it didn't? I was under orders. Were you also under orders when you ran to Hardman about Monica Eaton? How do you know it was me? Because I set it up! Because I know who you are! Are you still gonna tell me you're not helping Allison? Harvey, I swear to God I did not do this. Maybe not, but now that you've done what you've done, I will never trust you. Pearson Hardman is my life. Well, here's what's gonna happen from now on. You and I, we're done. Don't drop by my office. Don't ask Donna for information. You're the guy that nobody wants, but we can't get rid of. But I'm seeing your partner. So I can't make you leave. But as far as I'm concerned, 
They don't even work here anymore. 